I'd like to continue talking about FSH, or follicular stimulating hormone. Um, I'm also going to show you a diagram to explain this a little bit more, this process. So that you can understand what is going on from your high FSH and why women develop breast cancer. A, a lot of women will say, well, I don't want to use hormone replacement therapy because of, well, that study that said uh, the Women's Health Initiative, oh yeah, yeah, said it, there's a 29% increase in incidence of breast cancer. So I'm not using hormones. Instead, I'm using antidepressants or anti-anxieties or my doctor is starting me on birth control pills. Here's the problem. Those studies, the Women's Health Initiative, were utilizing synthetic progestins. Synthetic progestins cause breast cancer, like Prempro or Provera. In fact, in the group where they removed the synthetic progestin group and just gave them Premarin, the horse urine, there was no increased incidence of breast cancer. It was the progesterone, the synthetic progesterone called progestins, not progesterone, progestins. They're synthetic. They are chemicals. In the last five years, five years, there have been 12 studies that have said progestins cause breast cancer. Right this minute, though, thousands of people are receiving these synthetic progestins in the offices of physicians, either medroxyprogesterone, Prempro, Provera, or birth control pills, which are the synthetic part of progestins. They're receiving those all the time. And in studies have shown that women in their late 40s into their 50s, there's a 61% increase incidence of breast cancer using synthetic progestins. 61% increase. Twelve studies in the last five years have said it causes cancer. So why are family practice doctors and gynecologists giving patients synthetic progestins? Why? I have no idea. From a heart surgeon standpoint, it's kind of like me operating on someone and doing a five-vessel bypass and having them come to my office afterwards and I got Kentucky Fried Chicken out there for them, and I got Krispy Kreme donuts and a bowl full of cigarettes. Help yourself. Why would a gynecologist or a family practice doctor recommend a synthetic progestin? We know they cause cancer. Now let me talk about how hormone replacement therapy actually reduces cancer. And I think the best study was a 24,000 women study out of Switzerland that showed a reduction in breast cancer of 26%. Okay, 26%. 75% of those women used bioidentical hormones in that study. So there's obviously something going on. And I think the key to all this is not the amount of estrogen in your bloodstream, it's the amount of estrogen in the fat tissue. Let me explain that. First of all, when your FSH rises in a woman who's having hot flashes, that means your brain is demanding that your fat tissue makes more estrogen. What fat tissue is listening? The, the hips? thighs, the belly, the breast tissue. Well, I can tell you one thing, after doing surgery for 25 years, I've never heard of belly fat cancer or love handle cancer, but I took care of many women with breast cancer during my training. And I trained specifically at an oncology surgery center, an oncology university setting where the particular professors wrote the book on managing breast cancer. So 
I know a lot about breast cancer and I've seen a lot of it. But here's the problem. People say, oh, breast cancer, estrogen causes breast cancer. And guess what? When I finished my six years of training and general surgery, I said the same thing. You ask me what causes breast cancer. Of course, estrogen does. We all know that. But the answer is not that easy. So I'm not tough on people who don't know because if I didn't know after six years of rigid training in that, why should someone who does a three-year family practice residency understand this? So here's the problem. Estradiol has been blamed for breast cancer. But wait a second, 80% of breast cancers occur post-menopausal. That means 80% of breast cancers occur when a woman's estrogen is the same as when she was seven or eight years old. Well, well why does your body wait to have an estrogen level when you're as a seven-year-old to make breast cancer? Why not, if estradiol really caused breast cancer, then women who are 28 years old who are pregnant and who have estrogen levels of 800, not less than five, who have 800, they should be riddled with breast cancer. And they're not. And the reason is, is it's the estrogen in the bloodstream is 800, not in the breast tissue. The ovaries are making it. The problem with menopause is the ovaries are no longer making it. So the only place estrogen can be made is in the fat tissue, the breast tissue. Well, what's the difference between the hip and the thigh and the belly fat and the breast tissue? The difference is there's actively dividing cells in the breast tissue, like ductal cells, like lobular cells, like lobular cell carcinoma in situ, like intraductal carcinoma of the breast. And what happens is it's these high concentrations of estrogen in the fat tissue being made after menopause that are creating this problem with cancer developing in the breast. That's the problem. And in fact, a very nice Egyptian study did biopsies of women postmenopausal for either a liver, for a, a, a biopsy, breast biopsy, or a reduction mammoplasty, and found levels in the breast were sometimes a hundred times higher than in the bloodstream. And that makes sense because it's being made in breast tissue and being released into the bloodstream. It's not the estrogen in the bloodstream that causes the cancer. It's the estrogen in the breast tissue that's being concentrated and produced at a very high amount that results in cancer. And I'm going to show you the pathways where you produce something called 16-hydroxyestrone, which is a carcinogen, and estrone which is the only estrogen in menopause, will be produced into 16-hydroxyestrone bathing the ductal cells, bathing the lobular cells in a carcinogen.